Well, thank you very much. And today, I welcome the great nurses of our country to the White House and express our gratitude for those on the front lines in our war against the global pandemic. And it's been something, but uh, we're winning and we will win. It's a question of when, and I think it's going to go quickly. We hope it's going to go quickly. I think we all agree. We're glad to be joined by Vice President Mike Pence, Secretary Alex Azar, Administrator Seema Burma, Dr. Robert Redfield, and Dr. Deborah Burks. Thank you all very much for being here. Thank you very much. We're using the full power of government in response to the Chinese virus. I declared a state of national emergency that will make up to $50 billion in disaster relief funds available, which we can use to assist hospitals, which, as you know, we need. I asked states to set up emergency operation centers and hospitals to activate emergency plans, and they've been uh, fully notified. We're urging hospitals to cancel all elective medical procedures. My emergency declaration allowed us to waive regulations to give nurses and doctors maximum flexibility to respond to the virus and to protect our frontline professionals that we've authorized through telehealth nationwide, which is really becoming uh, big stuff, telehealth. It makes it a lot easier for patients and uh, really has been working out amazingly well. We empowered states to authorize tests developed in their state, and we are working with the private sector to rapidly expand testing capacity. A, we have literally rebuilt that whole system. It was an obsolete system. It has been rebuilt, and a lot of good things are happening. We've ordered 500 million N95 masks to drive private production. American manufacturers are repurposing factories. One major manufacturer has already doubled capacity, and we've asked construction companies to donate unused masks. And they have actually quite a few of them, the construction companies. Who would think that? But they're going to be uh, donating unused masks, and the Defense Department is making millions of masks available for healthcare workers. And we're asking every American to make major changes to reduce social interactions over the next two weeks. As we all know, we must make uh, shared sacrifices, and that's what we're doing as a country. Uh, it's been amazing to see the way the country has come together. There's tremendous spirit, and even Republicans and Democrats are getting together, for the most part, but they're getting together. So that's a good thing to see. I thought maybe I'd go around the room and we'll just say uh, your name and uh, who you're representing, and uh, it's great to have you. Thank you very much. Please. I'm Dr. Debbie Hatmaker. I'm the Chief Nursing Officer for the American Nurses Association. Great. Thank you, Debbie. I'm Dr. Suzanne Miyamoto. I'm the CEO of the American Academy of Nursing. Uh, I'm David Hebert. I'm the CEO of the American Association of Nurse Practitioners. Thank you, Brad. Thank you very much. I'm Mr. President. I'm Dr. Deborah Troutman. I'm the President and CEO of the American Association of Colleges of Nursing. Great. Well. Hello. I am uh, Teresa Davis, and I'm a Clinical Operations Director in the EICU, but I am representing the American Association of Critical Care Nurses. Thank you very much. Great. Hi, I'm Ron Krauss. I'm the 2021 National President for the Emergency Nursing Association. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. President. I'm Robin Gregory, the CEO of the American Organization for Nursing Leaders and the CNO for the American Hospital That's Association. That's good. Thank you very much. I know who he is. Mike, do you have anything to say? Well, just, uh, Mr. President, I just want to join you in welcoming uh, these, uh, these great healers to the White House. Uh, the President spoke today to the leaders of physician organizations from around the country. We garnered from them uh, recommendations about how we can further support um, those of you that are coming alongside Americans that are impacted by the coronavirus. Uh, and as the President said, uh, we are absolutely committed um, to, uh, to bringing the full resources of the federal government, the full resources of the American economy, to work with states across the country, uh, to be there for Americans struggling with the coronavirus, but on, at the same level of priority, the President's made it clear that we are to make sure that the men and women who are serving those patients, and the nurses, the nurse practitioners, the emergency room nurses, so well represented here around the country, are in the forefront of the President's mind. And as he said, uh, we've taken decisive steps. We'll, we've, uh, we've enabled the expansion availability of N95 masks, and Congress has worked in a bipartisan way to make those more available. 
We're working on gowns and gloves and all of the personal protective equipment that all of you rely on every day. And I look forward to the discussion today about how we might be most helpful, but, but I hope you will carry back uh, the gratitude of, of uh, your president and of our entire team on the White House Coronavirus Task Force for the work that all of your members are doing every single day. They are the hands and feet of American compassion, and every American is grateful to, to our nurses. Thank you, Mike. And uh, just for the media, uh, FEMA is fully engaged. Uh, they're, uh, we're uh, working with them very closely. They're going around. They're seeing many of the states. They're engaged all over the country, but some areas have uh, far greater problems than others. Some areas don't have very much of a problem at all, as you know. But FEMA is very much engaged. They're fully engaged as of about two hours ago. And tomorrow, we're having a uh, what I think will be a very interesting news conference. Uh, and uh, I think you know what that's all about. So we'll see. The FDA will be uh, — they've been working very, very hard. And I appreciate what they're doing. And I think we have some uh, very interesting things that will be brought up tomorrow at the news conference. It'll be set up, I think, at around 11 o'clock or so. But we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.